So the day I've parked in the three Shire Stone car park at the bottom of the Pike of Bisco. It's free parking but there is a limited amount of spaces so get there really early otherwise you won't get parked. It's a short walk, only 1.5 miles to the summit. With regards to altitude, you're setting off from the car park at 400 metres and with the summit being at 705 metres, you only need to gain 400 metres. So it's not just a short walk, it's a fairly easy walk too. Around halfway up, if you look to your right, on Scar Crag and Black Crag, you'll probably see a lot of climbers making use of the cliffs. I sat and watched them for some time. It's not long before you reach Red Tarn, and I have camped here before a while ago, though it was during the night in the rain when I put my tent up, so I can't tell you what it was like. <laughs> At the end of Red Tarn, this is where you turn right and start your main ascent up to the summit. And this is where the views really do start to open up. If you look about you can see Crinkled Crags, Bow Fell and all the Langdale Pikes. Spectacular. I would say that this is a very easy climb, suitable for children and families. With no scrambling or steep drop-offs, it's very safe. In no time at all, you reach the last section of your hike. An easy little scramble over the rocky summit till you reach the cairn at the top. And you need to prepare yourself for the view that opens up. It's absolutely fantastic. Well, hello. Welcome to the summit of Pike of Blisco. And I've just found myself the all time best pitch ever. It's tremendous. Unbelievable. Take a look at this. And there it is. I know it's got a, it's not, got a couple of rocks, but it's flat. I've got phone signal. And there's the summit, another summit, and there's the view. Just wow. And I guess what, I didn't bring any alcohol up, so it's a, a sober night tonight. <laughs> Party tomorrow night in Keswick. Fantastic.
Well, tents up. It's been busy up here. Very busy. So if anybody's wondering, Pike of Blisco is busy. It's six o'clock now and I'm hoping that's the last of the people that's coming up now. Yeah, I've put the tent up. So I've got myself a nice cup of tea. I'll try and warm myself up a bit. It's been warm today, I think that's why it feels cold now. I'm just in a bit of a sheltered place from the wind. Uh, the reason why I'm drinking tea is I didn't bring any alcohol on this one. Thought I'd have a night off. <laughs> it was Friday night and Friday and Saturday night would probably be heavy in uh, Keswick. Looking forward to that. So you can just see over there you got the summit. Beautiful up here, tremendous views. So for dinner or tea, I have noodles a la carte, bachelors, nothing but the best. And I've got a, a very posh scotch egg uh, from Morrison's. I've had one of them and they're beautiful, like runny yolk in them. Tremendous. I've also got an array of biscuits and um, stuff like that. I have another hot chocolate and a coffee for the morning and porridge. I've got a good phone signal up here, so I'm going to ring the missus and download a movie or two. Um, might even do a little bit of ed video editing. Well, I've just had the strangest tea. Um, bachelor's super noodles with curry sauce in. Very strange. Nice. I'm all full up now. So I'm just having a little walk, wander about before I get comfortable in my tent. Because I'm, uh, I'm absolutely goosed now. What a view. Very nice. That there's a uh, Windermere. Just there, Windermere. Another host of amazing views.
Morning. Happy campers. <laughs> well, it's a little bit, uh, it's all clagged in outside and it's raining, as you can probably hear. Um, I don't want to get out of bed, I'm so warm. But anyway, I've got to. So, I've had my coffee. I might uh, save myself for a nice breakfast in a pub or something. So, that brings us to the end of this little trip. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. Really appreciate it. Until the next time, see you later.